What up, dude bros? I'm here to review or overview this super cool Spring Thunder. This is an epic shotgun for Nerf with ejecting shells. Check this out. It's awesome. Not following my traditional review format because this isn't a real review. Uh, the user GDOP29 over on Etsy, uh, link to his store in the description box below, he sent all of this over for me to review. It's not a regular review because it's not a regular Nerf Blaster. This is all 3D printed. It's homemade. It's epic. So what this thing is, it's a super powerful shotgun that feeds using these shells. And why these shells are special is not like a sledge fire that only has one shell available. You can buy different shells to fire different projectiles. Like a proper tactical shotgun. That's what shotguns do. They just fire everything you put into it so if you want, you know, a birdshot, buckshot, a slug, whatever you want, you can feed into it. This is a fantastic parallel to how a real shotgun works. You load it just like a real shotgun. And the shell ejects in a similar way to a real shotgun. It feels like I'm using my Benelli shotgun. It's pretty awesome. I'm getting ahead of myself. My overview on this product's not gonna be front to back because that won't make any sense. So it's spring powered to prime. You can pull back on this orange handle here. The draw weight is pretty heavy because it's a very powerful blaster. I would not recommend this one for kids. It shoots very hard. I'll get to the chrono in a minute, but it, it's not easy to prime that. But the grip is designed nicely with this little ridge in the back. So, I mean, it's relatively easy. It's not mechanically like sloppy or anything. It's just a strong spring. Prime backstroke, which I just did, ejects the previously used uh, shell, which is here. At the same time, it loads a shell from the magazine, which is this white tube, into the chamber. So I have a loose shell right here. So when I return the pump slide forward, the shell is chambered and now I'm ready to fire. So when you prime back, the old shell goes out, then you prime forward, the new one goes in, you're primed, ready to pull the trigger, and you fire off whatever shell you just loaded. Now I'm out of ammo, so I get to show you how to load. The loading is, if you've ever loaded a real shotgun, it's like the exact same thing. The shotgun is fed out of a spring-powered magazine, and it's just like a real shotgun magazine tube. The, the shells are loaded right here into this piece of white PVC. This one holds four shells. I'm not sure if there are different length variants or extension tubes like you might see in a three-gun competition. But to load, you can get your shell, place it in and then push forward and out clicks in. And for any speed freaks out there, you can dual and even quad if your hands are big enough. So if you shoot three gun, it'll actually help you at nerf. <laughs> so this ramp goes down along with the shell. You just push down and then push in. And again, the magazine holds four shells, but the capacity of it is four plus one or five because I can chamber that one and then load in an extra. So now I've one in the chamber and four in the tube. So super powerful blaster that shoots awesome shotgun shells. Intermission from the blaster overview to go over the ammo options. Now the cool thing about these shells is it works just like a real shotgun. Well, sort of like a real shotgun where you buy one shotgun and this thing is so powerful, you can shoot any ammo you want through it by buying different shells. This shell is a single dart. So there's just one normal Nerf Elite dart in there. This one's called Buckshot. It has three Nerf rival rounds crammed in there. So they shotgun out all at once. This one's called Fletchet. I like this one. It's, it shoots three Boomco darts all at the same time. I've noticed a very tight grouping with this. The rival rounds spread out a little bit, the Boomco shotgun shell stays super close together. You can dive pretty far into shotgun theory on how much spread is optimal, but I'm just pointing it out. Sometimes you might want that. This one's called a BNK. It shoots an elite dart and a Boomco dart. And there's another one, I lost it, <laughs> that shoots mega darts. You have to cut down the mega dart because the mega darts are, are normally too long for the shell. But when you cut it down a little bit, you can shoot a mega. And, and at this point, you can shoot whatever you want. And I'm sure if Nerf comes out with a new ammo or a bunch of people really want one particular ammo to go through this, you can just buy new shells. You don't have to buy a whole new gun or a whole new magazine to, to shoot. And the shells are much cheaper than I was expecting because it's all 3D printed and there's a little rubber O-ring back here that's glued in. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's not super cheap. And I'm, I'm impressed by the seller's price point. It's pretty low, so you can load up on these shells. And more importantly, if one goes flying and you're outside, you don't have to worry about picking up your shells. Like with a sledge fire, you only have three shells. It comes with three. And then once you lose them, you're done. And that whole blaster becomes inoperable without them. These are pretty cheap and you can just keep buying them if you lose them or whatever. So great option. The shells might make more sense in the firing demo. Back to the blaster. We have a Picatinny style rail up here and it appears that all of these screw holes on the top would allow you to extend this to put rails even like more rails, more rails, more tactics. Oh yeah. I'm not sure about that, but I assume that's, I mean, why else would you put a bunch of holes in the top of the blaster? I don't know. I didn't design or build this. Uh, the guy just sent it to me. I currently have two rails secured up here. I don't have any optics or anything, although he does make them. Like this is a fake looking RMR that could be attached right here, but I think it looks super cool without it. And you know, I, I don't really look down sights anyways. No scope all day, every day, brah. <laughs> The overall build construction of the blaster feels a little weird because it's 3D printed, and more importantly than that, it's 3D printed in a bunch of different segments. Orange thing's a segment, this blue thing's a segment, the orange thing, and then this blue thing is one, two, three, four, five, six segments. Another one here, one here, one here. You know, it's a bunch of different segments. So when you pull on the blaster, it flexes a little bit. It doesn't feel quite as solid as a single injection molded shell like a normal Nerf blaster. And the grip is a two part grip as well. So there's a little bit of wobble. I tightened everything up so it's nice and tight, um, but that might shake a little loose. I haven't had any parts fall off or anything, just loosen a little bit. And that's, I mean, I abuse my Nerf blasters, especially my testing procedure to see if it could handle it. And I could say with confidence, it didn't break under my testing procedure. But you're using a 3D printed homemade blaster and you can feel that when you're using it. It's not quite as, you know, ergonomically as smooth, but it's not a cosmetic 
cosmetic piece. It's totally based completely on function, which is super cool. So before I bore you to death, I'll show you the firing. Starting out with waffle head darts. These are just a single dart. It's not a shotgun load. Forgot I had that in there. favorite, the buckshot, three rival rounds in each shell. Two were yellow, one was red. That's my bad. Boomco shotgun loads. Each shell has three Boomco darts. As you can see, the Spring Thunder is super fun to use. I absolutely love using this shotgun. It's just a blast. It's so cool to use any type of ammo you want. Uh, for certain game types, I, I know people are really gonna dig this build. I did not have any jams or malfunctions through my testing procedure. Um, I wanted to record the different ammo types because I don't imagine you'll care about the same ammo that I'd care about. And that's the beauty of the shotgun. If you have some NPC in a zombie round or something that you have to disable with only mega darts or only rival, you can load in whatever you need as a specialty blaster. And that's the point of a shotgun. I personally like the, the rival shotgun done the best because it had a pretty good spread. The Boomco ammo was really fun to watch, but it's almost too precise for my taste. I prefer a shotgun to, you know, spread out a little bit more. And rival rounds are just gratifying to see them bounce all over the place after a shotgun shot. So that's, that's fun. The operation of the blaster is smooth. It loads really well. Uh, this little feeding arm feels pretty cool. It feels like I'm using my actual shotgun and I own a shotgun. And it's a, almost creepy how, how much it feels like it. The prime action, I want to be clear again, it takes a lot of strength. I mean, like not for an adult, but if you're a kid looking for a nerf blaster, this might be a little too powerful. If you're an HVZ -er or like a college 18 and up, you know, you'll be able to manage pretty pretty well. So if you have the muscle, mechanically, there isn't grit or mechanical like slop in there. It is, it just takes a lot of work, but it's well designed, to be clear. Now to the chrono results for this type of blaster, it may or may not be important to you. Firing single nerf elite darts, I achieved an average velocity of 120 feet per second, which is pretty fast. That really is the ceiling for HVZ games. If you shoot much higher, uh, you can hurt people. So that's pretty much capped out at the single dart. Shooting three Boomco rounds is an average velocity of 69 giggity feet per second. And shooting three rival rounds is an average of 79 feet per second. That's a bit under the rival average of 100 FPS or 95 FPS, but that's also shooting three rival rounds at the same time. I don't think it's realistically going to be used to shoot single nerf elite darts, but that comparison is, is really just to articulate how much power is in this blaster. So performance is pretty solid, and I don't even have to say for a shotgun. That's pretty solid for any blaster. So it shoots hard. You can shoot whatever ammo you want. Overall, there's no objective reason not to purchase the blaster. It does what it advertises. It's super practical for any type of ammo that you want to load into it, and it shoots super hard and I think it also looks awesome, which is a bonus point. It's more or less my objective conclusion. Now to my personal opinion, I had an absolute blast using this blaster. Seeing the shells eject out of the blaster is just epic. To be able to load in like dual loading, you know, it only holds four rounds, but it's super fun to use. Practicality wise, it's gonna be hit or miss. It's definitely not for everyone. I would not recommend this over your Strife or over your traditional blaster because the capacity is only four plus one, which is not a whole lot. But if you're running in an HVZ squad or any squad in particular, when you're just one of like 10 people that always move as a unit, that's traditionally when shotguns come out. Shotguns by their design are supposed to be used as part of a team. They're really not designed to be used alone unless you're like hunting ducks or something. So bear that in mind. It's certainly not for everybody, but for that guy who wants to use all the different ammo all at the same time, all in the same blaster and have a whole lot of fun doing it, definitely check out the Spring Thunder. Biggest cons that I would like to point out, first, the strength required to prime. It's definitely not for the youngsters. Super low capacity of only four plus one. And because it's 3D printed, it's vulnerable to heat and like melting. And there is um, quite a bit of wobble. It doesn't feel as refined as a normal Nerf blaster. Granted, it's a homemade Nerf blaster. It shouldn't be compared, you know, to normal production models. You know, there's that twist in the blaster. It's not only because it's 3D printed, like I said, because it's a bunch of segments all screwed together. Every one of these points is like a wobble point. So it, it kind of flexes. And I understand why it's designed that way, but I'm just pointing 
it out to you guys um, so you're not expecting it to, to hold like a normal Nerf blaster or even like a plus bow. With as many body components, it's bound to flex a little. I cannot speak for the longevity of the blaster because a lot of the internals, this flap and a few of the little like catches in the shells are all 3D printed. Uh, the longevity is in question. I also live in Naples, Florida, so it's hot and humid. I could not use this outside or it probably would malfunction due to melting. I can't use 3D printed parts outside down here. <laughs> but for the right player within the right squad, this blaster is incredible. I'm so glad I reviewed it and thank you very much to GDOP29, goofy name by the way, for sending me over this sample. In full disclosure, I didn't pay for this product. He sent it all over for a review and I didn't cover the extra little shell carrier. Whoops. This thing also secures onto the Picatinny rail and it allows you to load in some shells like this so you can grab them quickly in order to reload. You can also just put them in your pocket. That works too, but you know, that's cool. Super fun blaster. If you're interested in exploring it or purchasing one, check out the Etsy store link in the description box below. Thanks again to GDOP26 for sending it over. If you want one, check out the link in the description box. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching bros. And as always, stay tactical.